Let's write a C program to reverse a given number using recursive function. If user enters a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, after executing our recursive function, the number will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's see how we can accomplish this using iterative logic first. So this is the code snippet. This while loop executes until num is less than or equal to 0. So first, we get the reminder by modulo dividing the num by 10 and we add it to the previous value of reverse into 10. Reverse into 10 because we need to properly fix the decimal value of the reversed number. Then we reduce the number by dividing, by dividing it by 10. So after the entire iteration, that is once num is equal to zero, the value present inside the reverse will be the exact reverse of the user entered number. So entire logic is clearly explained in depth in two to three minutes video. So please go and watch that video, the link to which is present on your computer screen right now. Please go and watch it before continuing with this video tutorial because you need to have basic understanding of this logic before continuing. So it's very short video, so don't miss it. Please go and watch that. So let me continue it. Continue our recursive logic here. I'll take an integer variable num and ask the user to enter a number to reverse it. And I'll store the value inside the address of integer variable num. Now let me directly call the reverse function inside printf itself. So I'll write printf reverse of percentage %d is percentage %d. So the original number entered by the user is present inside variable num and the result will, will be returned from the, the function reverse. So we are passing the user entered number to the function reverse. So let me define this function now. So we have return percentage %d here, which is format specified for int. So return type must be integer. So let me take an integer argument as well. So if num is positive, return else. If it's zero, then return zero. Okay, here I'll write the code which involves recursive call, okay? some code plus recursive call. So we need to know, we, we have to reduce the number. So I'll write, reduce it until num is zero. So I'll write num division 10. This reduces the value of num and it's a recursive call by the way. So one more thing, we will get the uh, reminder by writing num modulo division 10. Also let's let's fix its its decimal value. For that I'll write power of into power of we need to write 10 to the power of some value. So I'll use log of 10 to calculate the length of this number that is number of digits present inside the number. So 10 rise to number of digits present inside that number, which would be multiplied with the reminder of num, that is num modulo 10. So let me type cast it to integer. So since we are using pow here, which is a built-in method, which is built into a library file called math.h. Let me include that file, header file. Don't worry, I'll explain this logic in detail now. Before that, let me compile and run this once and check if it's a right, if it's the right logic. Reverse of one, two, three, four, five is five, four, three, two, one, and it's working. So let me explain this line of code present here. Let me copy it. Yeah, control C on Windows. Let me paste it, control V on Windows to paste it. So let me bring this line of code down so that you can see it properly. Now, if user enters a number one, two, three, four, we assume you user has entered a number one, two, three, four. Let me copy this line of code 
and replace num with this user entered value for the num which is 1 2 3 4 so replace the value of num everywhere here so 1 2 3 4 modulo division 10 would give 4 that is last digit in this number so 0 1 2 and 3 so this will return 3 so 1 2 3 4 division 10 would give 1 2 3 as the result now this reverse this 10 to the power of 3 gives 1000 that is 1000 so here we have a recursive call which calls reverse method and passes 1 2 3 to it so the new number is 1 2 3 so let me copy this line of code it's not 0 so it executes this line of code so replace the num variable num with the value of num which is 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 modulo division 10 would give you 3 so 0 1 and 2 the length of this number is 2 1 2 3 division 10 would give 12 so 10 to the power of 2 is 100 so again again we have iterative call here reverse and it passes 12 as the number so new number is 12 so again it's not 0 so it executes this line of code so replace the value of num by 12 everywhere here so 12 modulo division 10 would give 2 so 0 and 1 this would return 1 12 division 10 would give 1 so recursive call here and it passes 1 as num 1 is not equal to 0 by the way so it executes this line of code once again let me replace the value of num by 1 everywhere here so 1 modulo division 10 is 1 so this is 0 so it returns 0 1 division 10 is 0 so 10 rise to 0 is 1 so reverse of 0 so new number is 0 so reverse of 0 it matches the condition inside else block let me get back to our code so reverse has been sent 0 else block gets executed because num is not positive value so return 0 so 0 will be returned to the calling method which is reverse of 0 okay so this will be replaced by 0 and that reverse of 0 instance will be popped out of the stack so 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so this value will be returned to the calling function that is reverse of 1 once it's returned so 10 to the power of 1 is 10 so 10 into 2 is 20 20 plus 1 is 21 so this would be returned to the calling function which is reverse of 12 so 3 into 100 is 300 plus 21 is 321 that's nice so 321 will be returned to the calling function which is reverse of 1 2 3 so replace this so 4 into 1000 is 4000 plus 4000 plus 321 is 4321 which is exact reverse of user entered number which is 1 2 3 4 so this is the logic so this is the logic okay so now the code might make sense to you so let me give the number one two three four five and it's reverse is five four three one but one more thing if you give negative numbers it shouldn't work as per my knowledge because log logarithm is only defined for positive values and not for negative values okay to fix that i'll take two more variables is negative and result i'll assign one to is negative that means the number entered by the user is negative we assume that it's negative so let me check here if num is less than zero then this whole thing would return true or one to it that is e is negative will be one if this num is not not less than zero that means if num is positive then e is negative will have zero in it got confused let me print the value of it and show you Please write it down or else you will get confused once again, okay? 
so sine is equal to whatever the sign 0 or 1 will be present just look at that so copy write down num value num value and e is negative value okay when it's positive e is negative will be 0 when num is negative e is negative will be true or 1 okay write that down be very clear of that so let me remove this hope you understood so i'll check if e is num that means if the user enter number is actually negative in that case i'll multiply the user enter number by minus 1 to make it positive or else the same same thing can be written using compound assignment statement that is num star equals minus 1 and i'll use this result variable and get the returned value from reverse of num and print out the value present inside result here why i'll show you why if user enter number is negative that means if e is negative has one inside it that means user enter number was negative in that case multiply the result by minus one okay this is nothing but right uh, it's equal to writing result is equal to re result into minus one so let us first check this let's check the output first okay so hope it's everything is everything should work except for the original numbers sign will be changed to positive we will fix that soon so i'll give one two three and it should work obviously okay so if you give minus one two three four here look here the original number has been changed from minus one two three four to plus one two three four so let's fix that it's a easy fix here you you just write just cut this and paste it inside and also write one more line of code this one that is change the sign of user entered number okay if he had entered negative number it should show negative number okay that's it and it's working now perfectly now we could even write this entire thing in a single line of code using ternary operator somebody asked me to write that in a single line of code so let me check that if i can do that so i'll check if num is okay if num is greater than zero that means it's still positive value so if it's false i'll return zero that is if num is zero i'll return zero or else let me return this value inside the bracket oops let me remove this i don't think you are able to see the entire screen let me bring this down let me bring this entire thing down and it will still work not a problem so let me bring this zero down so this is a single line of code using ternary operator to reverse a given number it works both for positive as well as negative number let's check that out it works for positive number let's check for a negative number minus one two three four and it's working it's working if you don't want to use log of 10 then please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video there we have explained and given the entire source code to write the same program without using log of 10 so this is the memory stack it gets filled by recursive function calls once reverse of zero is encountered it, re it gets a return value of zero and it returns to reverse of one and all these functions gets popped out of the stack whenever they return something to the calling function hope that's clear so recursive calls are not always efficient particularly in reversing a number or um, fibonacci series uh, programs and all it's not efficient it's better to use the regular iterative ways instead of recursion recursion in this program creates a lot of overhead for memory stacks so for iteratively doing this for iterative logic please visit the link present on your computer screen right now we are showing you this recursive function recursive way of doing these things for educational purpose okay but please don't ignore it you need these small programs and logic very much to write 
and understand the bigger problems wherein recursive calls are the best fits and not the iterative calls okay iterative methods so please learn this recursive functions you will be a, an advanced user if you master these things like if you master pointers arrays recursive functions strings etc you will be an advanced user so please don't ignore recursive logic okay with that said please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using whatsapp telegram wechat linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you